Hello, it's good to see you. So, something crosses my mind and it has to do with the way those we love enter our lives and then leave them. I have had so many close friends whom life brought to me yet during the time that they were there it was amazing it was beautiful it was magical it's as if i have found my people yet through the passage of time even when nothing happens we drift away and more often than not i try to get back in touch i try to reconnect with them uh, i try to speak to them yet it doesn't work somehow they have become distant even though at certain points in time they were so close they bore their hearts to me and i to them as well it got me to think while so here's the thing it happened over several periods of time and each time that it got me to think my thought process was different at an earlier stage it made me think that i was maybe bad or that i became worse or i became a bad friend and that isn't such a nice thing to think unless you really were a bad friend but i wasn't i was really good i was really caring and i put myself to high standards by my own definition that i was i wouldn't say i was hard on myself because there was no hardship in being a good friend but i was caring and i always aimed to be genuine so when it happened again and again at some points it made me think maybe they got bored with me and then it got me to think maybe they don't want my friendship anymore however as time passed and as i've made more friendships i realized that you know what it's okay that people leave it's okay that they just distance themselves from you and among the most recent thought processes i even was thinking that maybe it wasn't even about me maybe this person is going through so much that they have no energy to stay close they it isn't personal they aren't upset with me or angry with me or have grown to hate me some of them maybe even decided that you know what we don't belong this close together it's okay to stay in touch it's okay to keep the a distance however to them at least it isn't okay to be a close friend or someone whom you care about so much that you would talk to them and pour your heart for them and that's the nature of life maybe or maybe that's the nature of relationships and friendships anyway i want to point out that it isn't something that you vilify if someone grows distant or if they were close to you and then became further away that doesn't mean they're bad that doesn't mean they hate you and it doesn't mean that you were wronged no it just means that parts of the cycle of life is that you grow distant from those whom you once so close to and it's okay it doesn't mean that they've wronged you or that you were bad or that they are bad no it just means that hey we're all trying to do what we can with what has been given to us life is tough and everyone has a million things that they need to take care of everyone has things that they cannot even speak about things that are so 
demanding and difficult and it's understandable it's difficult to talk about it's difficult to bring forth to have someone else look at it or perhaps even to describe it it's not easy to describe or um dis dismantle the details and the small parts that make up the things that they deal with so it's okay if close friends become far if those who you used to spend time with no longer have time for you i know there are so there are two sayings that i know are very popular the first is no one is busy if they wanted to make time they would make the time now that isn't fair because yes it is a matter of priority but it's it is a matter of priorities but people deal with their the, so just the person themselves has so many layers and they have to deal with those layers and then they have to deal with the several aspects of their lives so it isn't fair to judge them based on that small shallow definition that it's a matter of priorities and everyone has time if they want it they could make time no it isn't as simple as that and it isn't as personal as that makes it sound like now the other thing is everyone has their phone on them if like everyone can text you immediately or text you back or something like that that also isn't true like sure if i would reach out i would have my phone with me here however you as a person your phone is secondary to your immediate environment for example right now i'm doing this recording so my phone is secondary i have to put it aside if someone were to knock on my door that would take priority to this recording if this was a phone call and someone talks to me in person and they demand my immediate attention i would have to finish up the phone call and then look at them and talk to them and see what they want so the immediate vicinity takes priority and there are so many things that are also keeping people busy so even even people who are on their phones or who have nothing to do keep in mind that your energy isn't just one uh, resource that you draw energy from sometimes you have no energy to text or to have a phone call or to communicate believe me sometimes you really are drained you can exercise you can run you can do chores and you can dance you can do anything however your social battery is completely drained your texting battery that the battery that whatever energy and motive and dopamine releasing thing that makes you want to do these things it does not exist right now as far as you know communicating with someone or texting them or having a phone call so excuse people give them the benefit of the doubt and be kind to them understand that even if they have no clear reasons like they don't know how to express why they are behaving the way they are behaving because that's the thing sometimes their immediate thoughts do not exist as far as this thing goes you would think that hey someone who cut you off has a really valid reason why they did that sometimes they don't they it's it's a buildup of unexplainable reasons sometimes it's just psychological sometimes it's it's just the way they feel or their vibe is off whatever and i know it isn't pleasant but appreciate what has passed appreciate what you've had together with them it was wonderful the memories 
cherish them and be kind to their memory. And even if they come back, if someone who abandoned you and time has passed, if they come back and they say hi, don't draw your weapon and punish them or say, aha, I knew you'd be back. Now it's time for you to take the medicine that you've made me take. Well, it's not a medicine, a taste of your own medicine. Yeah, it's time for you to have a taste of your own medicine. Don't be like that. Welcome them back. It's okay to talk to them. It's okay to communicate with them. Who knows? Maybe they've grown. Maybe they've developed into someone that isn't the same person that you used to know back then. And that's, that's all. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. And I'll talk to you next time.